and welcome, I'm Antonina Antosha and you are watching Head to Head with UA TV. A few days ago, in the Netherlands, the international investigation team named four suspects in the downing of the plane over occupied Donbass in July 2014. Russians Igor Girkin, Sergei Dubinsky and Oleg Pilatov and Ukrainian citizen Leonid Harchenko. They have been charged with murdering 298 passengers and crew. International arrest warrants have been issued for the four men. To discuss this, we welcome to the studio today Alexander Musienko. He's the head of the Center for Military and Law Research. So, hello and thank you for joining us. Hello, thank you. Uh, there have been information uh, coming out there that the Ukrainian citizen, uh, Leonid Harchenko, has been murdered on the Russian territory. Is it true or fake? Uh, I don't know actually, and even uh, uh, international joint team uh, don't know actually what happened because uh, they haven't uh, any information from that, any official information. So I don't know is it true, mm -hmm. but but but, but uh, it could be true. I, I don't know. Okay, so what happens next now that the arrest warrants are out there? What is the procedure concerning these four men that have been named guilty in the downing of the plane? It's uh, very hard because, uh, as you know, uh, Russia uh, didn't, uh, don't, don't want to uh, extradite uh, their citizen to the Netherlands or to the other country. And uh, that's why it will be uh, hard to procedure uh, the trial. And uh, right now, uh, international uh, uh, joint group uh, thinking about uh, how it will be, how mm. will be the trial uh, in, the, in the procedure in absentia. Mm -hmm. In absent, in uh, absentia, so uh, it, uh, will be uh, it will be uh, we can understand that uh, uh, further nearby to the march uh, 2020 when uh, will be the trial okay so if even if the trial happens in the march of 2020 mm -hmm. in absentia and uh, those three russian citizens are charged with murder and the decision of the court is in favor um, well meaning they are charged with murder how are they going to get punished if Russia still refuses to extradite its citizens? Mm, I don't uh, think that uh, we will talking uh, about uh, just uh, these three citizens, Russian, because uh, uh, because the investigation uh, continues right now, and it will be continue until March two thousand twenty, mm -hmm. as uh, as the chief, uh, chief prosecutor of the Netherlands, uh, Westerbeke said. Mm -hmm. So it will be, it will be continuing. Uh, so uh, maybe we will see another citizens and maybe we will see the citizens from the Russian uh, army uh, military command and uh, or some uh, Russian officials or authorities. Uh, we will clearly same. see some uh, other figures uh, among Russian officials that are going to be proved to be involved in this procedure. My question was, mm -hmm. is how are they going to be punished for what they did? If they... Uh, if found if, guilty by the court. Yes, yes. If they uh, never, uh, if they never uh, will go outside the Russia and uh, they uh, will not rest it uh, in... Uh, in uh, the country of the European Union or United States, and they uh, stay in Russia, they will live there uh, without punish. So Russia, basically Russia, the international Russia. judiciary system is built this way, that even if you are charged with the murder of mm. almost 300 people, you can stay unpunished if you live in Russia. Yes. Yes, because, uh, uh, because uh, right now, uh, Russia, uh, Ru you know, Russian officials say right now, authorities, they, uh, they are talking about that uh, their citizens uh, didn't, uh, uh, they uh, didn't uh, made any crime and uh, so uh, they uh, could live uh, in our territory in, uh, in Russia, that's okay, it's mm -hmm. their position. And what about the relatives of those 298 people 
who have died as a result of the actions of those people that are claimed by Russia to not be guilty. And now we are speaking about the different, uh, about the different liability and responsibilities, because uh, there are uh, responsibility for, for the crime, for the mm -hmm. shutdown of mm -hmm. the uh, plane MH17, and another liability is the liability of the state Russia Federation. Uh, and, okay, but the and Russian, the, the citizens of the Russian Federation have been charged with the murder. Yes, yes, of and another, another, people. another responsibility is about uh, Russia Federation, and the relatives uh, can right now uh, appeal to the European uh, Court of the Human Rights with uh, uh, to uh, for, for the compensation from Russia Federation. Mm -hmm. Because because the Netherlands and Australia uh, in uh, 2018 held the responsibility uh, for this crime on Russia mm -hmm. already. In general, the fact that um, Russian citizens or Russia or Russian officials planned the downing of a plane. The, it is, by all means, one of the rudest human rights violations, one of the rudest international law violations and martial law violations. Globally, could Russia be applied pressure over this from the international community on? I think and I hope that, uh, yes, it will be. In your opinion, what should the international community do to show Russia their discontent with such an act? I think uh, the one way is to increase uh, uh, sanctions pressure, economic mm -hmm. sanctions pressure, uh, because uh, any other uh, mechanism uh, uh, doesn't work right now. Mm -hmm. And what about the political prisoners? Mm, I hope that uh, with the help of international community, they will uh, go back home to Ukraine, but I don't uh, prognosize that it will, be, it will be soon. All right, coming back to the, the, the plane crash of MH17. The, the plane crashed in 2014. <clears throat> Five years later, we finally have a decision of the investigative group. Why did it take so long? Why did it take five years? Because uh, it was a procedure, a procedure of investigation. They uh, uh, investigation made a lot of work. They uh, uh, they work was to ask a lot of witnesses uh, to uh, see a lot of uh, pictures of the satellites to. Uh, hearing a lot of uh, intercepting calls between Russian officials uh, and uh, 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 officials of the self-proclaimed uh, Donetsk People Republic and uh, so on. It took uh, a lot of a lot of work. You said that the investigation is still ongoing and will be ongoing till March 2020. Why will it end in March 2020? Is it going to be the final trial? Yes, uh, it, it, it will be the final trial in uh, Hague, Netherlands, mm -hmm. uh, and uh, maybe, maybe to that time we will see uh, another, another some uh, man who will, uh, some persons who will accused also. Mm -hmm. Well, hopefully those who are to blame for the plane crash are going to be punished. Thank you so much for coming Thank here. You. That was Alexander Musienko. He is the head of the Center for Military and Law Research. Thank you so much for watching UATV. Stay tuned for more.